Good morning, church. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. And today, uh, we are celebrating our Lord's Day. And um, we are so blessed because sabi mo, sa tabi, katabi mo, ginising ka ni Lord today. Ginising ka ni Lord today. And, um, amen. And we are also, uh, good morning also, good morning, good afternoon for our uh, ACCI family who are tuning in online. God bless you po. And um, uh, today, uh, God ordained this day for all of us and it's opportunity for us to hear His word again. And every day, we should uh, we should learn and um, hear and seek His heart. Amen. And um, sabi last uh, last week, no? It's not enough for us just to believe, but we need to show our faith with love in action. Amen. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. And today, um, we... Uh, as we read our Psalms uh, from Psalms 119 uh, verses 105 to 112 uh, version of New Internal, International Version so let's read with me your word. your word is a lamp for my feet a light on my path I have taken an oath and confirm it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, and willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the, ve to the very end. Ulitin po natin. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. Praise the Lord. And uh, yes, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Sabi ba? If we apart from God, we are walking in the darkness. So as we delight ourselves to the Lord and come to trust in Jesus, at sumunod sa kanyang yapak or yung kanyang uh, footsteps, our path or yung ating dinadaanan ay madali natin makikita. Amen. It will become easier for us to see and we learn from the, His words on how we should live and treat others and to love others. Amen. So today, as I said, as we will celebrate the Lord's Day and show our gratitude from our heart. Sabi nga, hindi, hindi sa ating uh, uh, mula sa puso, hindi sa nguso. And let's praise our living, loving, and holy God. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hello. 
Lord God, O oh, Abba Father, thank you, Father God, for giving us this opportunity, Lord God, to give you praise, to worship you in our heart, Lord God. And we pray, O oh, Lord God, for our pastor today, or for our preacher today, our pastora Donna, Lord God, illuminate to us, Lord God, your word. And uh, open our spiritual ears and eyes, O oh, Lord God. And come, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Amen. Amen. Yes, good morning, my ACCI family. Parang walang mga energy. Good morning, my ACCI family. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sige, kisingin muna natin yung mga natutulog natin, Maskals. I know you guys are excited to worship the Lord. And we'll be doing that in a little while. But uh, before we do that, let's... Let's, you know, make um, a little exercise para naman, ano, ganahan tayo sa pagpupuri sa Panginoon, no? Excited ba kayo? Amen. Amen. Sige, ishake natin yung ating mga kamay. Shake, shake, shake. Yan, sa front. On the side. Sa taas naman. And relax. Again, let's do it. Shake. Yes. <laughs> yung ating mga worship team, yes. On the side. Sa taas. Okay, now, put your hands up. 
Sige! As if you're reaching the sky. Sige, itaas nyo pa! Sige pa! Sige pa, itodo mo pa! Itodo mo pa! You can do more! Itodo mo pa! Raise your hands up! Come on everybody, raise your hands up! Sige, itodo mo pa! Itodo mo! Amen! Hallelujah! Palakpakan natin yung Lord. <laughs> Ang saya, di ba? You know, while we're doing the exercise, naaalala ko yung faith natin. Di ba minsan pagkakala natin, yung kala mo naabot mo na? Amen. Pero si Lord, He can do more. He wanted Amen. us to do Amen. more. He can stretch out your faith. Ganun yung Lord. Minsan napapatanong tayo, Lord, kaya ba talaga? May mga ganun ba kaya, mga kapatid? Yeah. Amen. Di ba? May mga ganun. Lord, ang tagal ko na sa abroad. Wala pa rin akong ipon. Kaya ba, Lord? Kaya? Kaya yun ng Lord. Amen. Yung ang tagal-tagal yun ng mag-asawa. Tapos, Lord, nakakatatlo na sila. Nakakadalwa na kami. Wala pa. Kaya mo ba, Lord? Kaya? Kayang-kaya ng Lord yun. Yung ang tagal-tagal mo na sa trabaho. Tapos, hindi ka na po-promote. Lord, kaya ba talaga? Kaya! Kayang-kaya ng Lord. At ito for sure, maraming makaka-relate. Lord, June na ngayon. Magde-December na naman. Wala pa akong biyanan. Kaya ba talaga, Lord? Kaya! Amen! What is impossible with men is possible with God. Hallelujah! Ngayon, sabay-sabay natin inimain yung sarili natin. Who is like the Lord? Yeah! Come on, everybody, put your hands up. Who is like the Lord? There is no one. Who is like the Lord? He is strong and mighty. Who is like the Lord? He is worthy. Stand up and give Him the praise. Who is like the Lord? There is no one. Who is like the Lord? Oh, He is strong and mighty. Who is like the Lord? He is worthy. Stand up and give Him the praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is worthy of glory From the rising of the sun Till it's going down The name of the Lord is to be praised Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Oh, He is strong and mighty Who is like the Lord? He is worthy to stand up and give Him the praise. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Our God is worthy of glory. From the rising of the sun till it's going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Stand up and praise Him. And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Stand up and praise Him And give Him the glory Our God is worthy of praise Stand up and give Him the praise And give him the praise. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is. Our 
our God is worthy of glory. From the rising of the sun to its going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? He is strong and mighty. Who is like the Lord? He is worthy. Stand up and give him the praise. Stand up and give him the praise. Stand up and give him the praise. Praise the Lord. Woo! Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name, Father, for you indeed, Lord God. Deserve the highest praise, Panginoon, from your people, Panginoon, Lord. Salamat po, Diyos, for being with us today, Panginoon. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord God, for moving around in this place, Panginoon, and speaking to each and every one of us, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for in those times, Panginoon, Lord, probably, Lord, nagkukulang po kami, Panginoon, Lord God. You were there, Panginoon, to fill us, Panginoon, Lord, with the strength, Panginoon. You became our strength, Panginoon. Salamat po, Diyos. Salamat, Lord God, for everything, O Lord. Help us, Panginoon, to increase our faith this morning, O Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Faithful God forever. 
opportunity, Panginoon, to release, Panginoon, our thanksgiving, Lord God, our praises, Panginoon, to your name, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord, for allowing each and every one of us, Panginoon, this morning, Father, to bless your name, Panginoon, Lord. You deserve the highest praise, Panginoon, sa bawat isa po sa amin, Lord God, dahil hindi naman po kayo tumigil, Lord God. Wala po kayong break time, Lord. You're always there for every one of us, Panginoon. Whenever we need you, Panginoon, Lord, you are always there to answer and rescue us, Panginoon. Salamat po, Diyos. Salamat, O Father. And help us, Panginoon, Lord. Empower us, Panginoon, to always choose to go and to go and to go, Panginoon, Lord. Yung hindi po tumigil, Panginoon. Whatever seasons man po, Panginoon, yung magdaan, Panginoon, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to always be in your presence, O Father. Maraming, maraming salamat po. To you the glory all the honor and all the highest praise in Jesus name we pray Amen and Amen Praise the, praise the Lord you can sit down Amen I know you are all excited now to hear uh, the word from the Lord Amen Let's give our loudest clap offering to the Lord Amen Hallelujah So hindi ko na po I would like just to uh, introduce to you yung atin pong mag uh, preach for today. You know, I was talking to her uh, earlier. Uh, I was saying that uh, ayaw niya ng recording, no? <laughs> so, she came all the way from Saudi Arabia just to, you know, share the word of God to us. God is so good. Amen? Amen. So, without uh, further or pahabain pa, I would like to, uh, and everyone would like to welcome and introduce Pastora Donna. Martinez. Good morning, ACCI family. <laughs> Hindi ako sanay. Um, in Saudi Arabia, we always we also have worship services um, once in a month. So, um, but the thing is, we only have like eight people in the congregation. <laughs> And ngayon, ang laki-laki ng cinema. And I'm so glad and grateful for the opportunity that God has given me to share His message to you today. Um, sabi, um, Pastor Benjo said earlier that I don't like, <laughs> I don't like to record. Hindi naman po sa ganun. <laughs> Baka, um, maybe you'll be expecting that I'll be coming here every time I'll be tasked to preach. <laughs> Uh, um, the thing is, I have got also some personal work to, to do here, so I thought, like, why, sh why, why don't I just do it at the same time and preach to you guys in person, okay? So, are you excited? I'm excited na din, and thank God for the praise and worship team, kasi ang taas ng energy, diba? So, I would like to ask that that energy will be sustained 
up to the very end of the worship service because our God just deserves the highest and our full and 100% attention. Hindi pwedeng 50% or 25%. I know, um, Pastor Anna said earlier, it's the Lord's Day. It should be the best day of the week, right? Because it's the only time that we're actually here together to commune with God. Amen? Okay. So for those of you who don't know me yet, Marami na naman akong kilala, but for those who don't me yet, know me yet, um, ako po si Pastor Donna Martinez, and I have been with ACCI family since 2011. Huwag nyo nang i-compute kung gaano ako katanda. <laughs> but praise God, we're being part of th this family for so long. And last year, the Lord moved me to Saudi Arabia. And once in a while, nakikita ay salamat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Once in a while, I get the chance to see you guys. Okay, so before we start, let us all um, ask the Lord to join with us first, no? So let's pause in prayer. Hallelujah, O God, we just thank you, Lord God, for today, Panginoon. And we just ask, Lord God, as we get ready, Panginoon, to hear your message today. Lord, whatever it is, Panginoon, that is hindering us from clearly hearing, Panginoon, from you today, Lord, we ask that you move it, Panginoon, that we'll be able to really hear from you 100% and get the message, Panginoon, that you want us to receive and apply in our lives, Lord God. Lord, and for me, Lord God, gamitin niyo po ako as your mouthpiece, Panginoon. And let me decrease while you increase and be magnified, Lord God, in our midst, Panginoon. Bless our ears, Panginoon, and our hearts, Panginoon, so that we will be able to see your glory, Panginoon, at, this end, at the end of this message, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat po. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so in the, uh, for the whole month of June, tayo po ay my series, right? So faith and trust, inseparable matters of the heart. So in the first week, Pastor Sarah, all the way from the Philippines, so di ba? All the way from the Philippines taught us about the great faith of the centurion man who asked Jesus to heal his servant. And then the week after, si BFF Pastor Jenna man, so also talked about the unwavering faith, okay? So it was the time when Jesus, John's disciple went to ask Jesus, siya ba talaga yung darating? Siya ba talaga yung Messiah? Okay? And last week naman, si Pastora Ann, Pastora Ann shared with us that sinful woman, yung action nung sinful woman when she anointed Jesus Christ with a perfume, okay? And wiped his feet with her hair, okay? So this week, we will continue to talk about faith and trust. But then again, what do we need? What should be the first thing before we have faith and then before we, before we get to trust the Lord? Merong key ingredient eh, for, that, for, that, for us to be able to have that faith and trust like the centurion man and the sinful woman. Ano kaya yun? Okay? So our title, ang title po ng ating message for today is take heed how you hear. What does it mean to say, what, do, what does it mean take heed? Medyo malalim yung English, di ba? So may, meron tayo ngayon um, English vocabulary lesson. So when you say take heed, it means to pay attention. So you can say pay attention how you hear. Or you can also say take care how you hear. Okay? So our scripture reading will be coming from Luke chapter 8, Verses 4 to 15. So, uh, marami na tayong um, may alam nitong ating um, scripture for today. So, it's the parable of the farmer scattering seed. So, if you would like to read with me, you may do so. So, one day, Jesus told a story in the form of a parable to a large crowd that had, got, that had gathered from many towns to hear him. A farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered across his field, some, some seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds ate it. Other seed fell among rocks. It began to grow, but the plant soon wilted and died for lack of moisture. 
Other seed fell among thorns that grew up with it and choked out the tender plants. Still other seed fell on fertile soil. The seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When he had said this, he called out, anyone with hear, ears to hear should listen and understand. His disciples asked him what this parable meant. He replied, you are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of God, but I use parables to teach others so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. When they look, they won't really see. When they hear, they won't understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is God's word. The seeds that fell on the footpath represent those who hear the message only to have the devil come and take it away from their hearts and prevent them from believing and being saved. The seeds on the rocky soil represent those who hear the message and receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they believe it for a while and then they fall away when they face temptation. The seeds that fell among the thorns represents those who hear the message, but all too quickly, the message is crowded out by the cares and riches and pleasures of this life. So they never grow into maturity. And the seeds that fell on the good soil represent honest, good-hearted people who hear God's word, cling to it, and patiently produce a huge harvest. I, as I said earlier, I, I think a lot of people already know the parable, right? You've heard it. Actually, um, for those of us who are part of life groups, Papi encourages us to discuss this as the first topic, right? Whenever we're going to be starting a new life group, ito po yung topic that we always start with. Just to check on the hearts of the members, okay? And since we all know this, Okay, so I decided to just summarize it in a table. Tapos agad, <laughs> summarize agad. I just decided to put it in a table. So, on the left side of the table, because I always work on tables with tables, so uh, ko rin siya ng On the left side, you can see the types of soil. So as we said, as, as the parable said, you have the footpath, the rocky soil, the thorny, and the fertile soil. And then that also, that describes the type of heart. So the footpath, hardened heart, you have the shallow, crowded, and good, good heart. Okay, and then on the right side, you have got the response to the word of God. Okay, how do we respond? How does each type of heart respond to the word of God? So the first step is, they all heard, right? Sabi sa parable, they all heard the message. And then the second one is, they understood. But for the footpath, no. Di niya naintindihan. Okay? And then the third response is to grow. Okay? And then yung ating thorny soil, medyo partial lang. Kasi after some time, na-confuse siya kung ano yung mas importante. And then the fourth and the final thing is the actual bearing fruit. Okay? So, um, I think it was in April when, uh, when I, I came to know that I was going to preach this topic. Sabi ko, yun na naman. <laughs> because as I've told you, in the life groups that we have, I always teach this, you know? So, para bang, para bang of the sower, and I saw the other topics. So, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't preached on this, not on this one, but para bang of the sower again. <laughs> And then I was reminded that whenever, sometimes we actually um, um, study again, right? We go back to the same scripture or the same book or the same chapter. And then I was reminded that we often get fresh revelations whenever we study it again. Di ba? Hindi yung palaging yun at yun na lang. When, so that's why we're encouraged to read the Bible over and over again. Because one, God wants to give us something new. So, nag-sorry ako kay Lord. Sabi ko, sorry, Lord. <laughs> and then, I asked him, God, let me see this parable in a different light. Let me see this parable in a different light. Something that I have never taught before, or I have never understood before. And he did. And praise him for that. Okay? Sabi pa nga, di ba, when we seek, he responds to us. So, we have to ask for it. Okay? So going back to the table, may kita natin that all of them heard, right? 
But somewhere from the second to the third response, nagkaiba-iba na. It different, it differed already. So you've got the same message and the same response for the first one, they all heard, but at some point, something wrong happened and some of them um, died, some of them did not bear fruit, but one, soil, one type of soil actually bore fruit. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya? Okay, let me just ask you another question. Ang daming tanong, no? Sabi, <laughs> Poppy would always say critical thinking. How do we develop critical thinking? We ask questions, okay? So in my life lesson, my life groups, I always ask them question after question. Ang tanong naman ng leader na to. <laughs> okay, I want to draw out answers. Okay, let me ask you, how does God speak to us? How does God speak to you? First, He speaks to us through His Word, okay? He speaks to us through our circumstances, right? We, he also speaks to us through other believers, our pastors, our preachers, or even brethren. For as long as it does not contradict His Word. Baka sabihin, sabi ni Lord sa akin, sabihin ko daw to sa iyo. Huwag <laughs> agad kayong maniniwala. You have to make sure that it doesn't contradict what He says in the Bible. Okay? And the last one, God speaks to us through His creations. Remember the story in the book of Numbers when the donkey spoke? Right? The donkey spoke. God used the donkey to be able to um, deliver His message. Grabe, no? If God would go through all these lengths just to speak to us, don't you think the message must be really important? Right? He will use the believer, he will use his creation, even the donkey, to speak to us. That means his message is very, very important. And what should be our response? We have to hear him. We have to really hear him well. So today, we will learn how to hear well, okay, the word of God through the different stories in the Bible. Okay? Because we, we always say that the, boy, the Bible speaks one theme, one message. So all the stories should be consistent. Your messages po should be consistent. Okay, so, so for the first one, we will take the story from when Jesus told his disciples that, he, that some, one of them will be betraying him. Okay? So it was the Last Supper. I think you also know the story. So after the Last Supper, they were all sat together. And then Jesus said, one of you will be betraying me. And then Simon was like curious. They all curious. Sino kaya yun? Ako kaya yun? Siya kaya yun? So they were all curious. And then Simon asked John the Beloved, can you please ask who it is? So John the Beloved asked. And Jesus responded. He said, it is to whom I will give this bread that after I have dipped it. So he responded to John. And he did that. He dipped and he gave it to Judas. He gave it to Judas. And then after that, he said, okay, what you must do, do quickly. And then he left. Ano sabi ng mga disciples? Sinabi lang, ah, siya pala. Hindi eh. Sabi niya, sabi nila, oh, maybe he's going to buy something for the feast. <laughs> what Jesus said was so obvious, right? He, it wasn't in parables. It was plain and simple. It was very plain and simple. He said, it is to whom I will give the bread. But how come no one, no one from the twelve got it? Even Judas. Kung siguro ako, hindi ko tatanggapin. If I heard Jesus Christ, I would, he wouldn't have taken it, right? But he was not paying attention. So the first lesson that we can learn from this story is, we have to actively listen okay so we have to actively listen so ano ba ibig sabihin ng actively listen we have to be fully present it's saturday morning here today right it's so cold wow and after a very long stressful week in the office sarap magpahinga to, to sleep and rest right and this place is just the perfect place to do that. Diba? You have got plenty of comfy seats. The, weather, the, the, the temperature is cold. And some of us might be tempted because we're really tired, right? Kami ni Rose kagabi, we slept before 12. 
So we didn't have like full eight hours of sleep. So medyo tired pa talaga. So it is really tempting to maybe doze off, but I hope not. Okay? So the, the, the Bible says that we have to quickly listen. Sabi dito, we must be quick to listen. So, I would like to challenge you today. Wala pang challenge person, pero may challenge na. I would like to challenge you today if you're holding your cell phones. And for those who are watching us online, kasi di ba, no, if, if they're watching, like me, I'm staying alone in Saudi, and then there's no one there with me. So, I can just take my phone and do Facebook or social media while watching the service. And you can also do this while sitting here. But... The Bible says we have to make sure that we listen well. We have to actively listen. If your seatmate, buti na lang one seat apart, no? <laughs> My social listen. If your seatmate, eh sabi, kininadaldal ka ng konti, sabi mo, Mang, makinig tayo. <laughs> Mamaya ka na magdaldal. There is a time for that. I want to hear God's word. Amen? Oh, just a couple of minutes lang naman. Mamayan na kayo mag-usap. Chit-chat. Okay? And for me, um, i-share ko. Andito yung aking mga life group <laughs> members. Thank God for their lives. Um, they know this uh, story very well because when I was still in, uh, in Dubai, so when we, and, and I facilitate the, the life group meetings, sometimes they will also have their own <laughs> chikahan on the side. And uh, they know me to be very strict. And one time I remember this, and I said, okay, if you have something more important to discuss, might as well, let's just stop the discussion, the life meet, the, the lesson today, and let's just discuss it together. <laughs> Tama po ba? Right? Sama na lang natin para we can all hear about it, and maybe it's really more important. Right? And they stopped. And I know that I mean well when I said that. Because we all, sometimes we, 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 we take for granted the opportunity that God gives us. He gives his message. So, someone like me comes from, up, from Saudi Arabia to be able to deliver the message. Okay lang yun. Every, Friday, every Saturday naman may nagpipreach, di ba? I will always hear the message. It's not like that. When we are given the opportunity, let's grab this. Sabi kasi the devil will immediately snatch, snatch it away. Ayaw niya. He doesn't want us to, 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 to benefit from that message. So bakit ahayaan nating awa ang agawin niya something that will be beneficial to our lives? Amen? Okay, so mga kapatid, as I preach to you today, are you really hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. So we have to be really present. Okay? So natutunan tayo number one. Actively listen. Okay? So number two. The story naman is when the rich man, you know this rich man who came, um, who went to Jesus and asked Jesus Christ, um, what should I do to inherit salvation? How do I get to heaven? And then Jesus Christ responded. You can read it also. And Jesus responded, sabi niya, you have to keep the commandments. Sabi niya, which ones? Gusto niya talagang marinig niya na ginagawa niya yun. So he said, Jesus Christ enumerated the, some of the commandments. And then he said, I'm doing all that. And then Jesus said something like, okay, now you have to do this as well. Sell your possessions and then come and follow me. And then the rich man went away so sad because he was so rich. <laughs> Oof. Nasad siya. So the second point that we need to learn about hearing the word of God is no cherry picking. What does it mean, no cherry picking? Ayan, second word of the day. <laughs> no cher cherry picking. Cherry picking means you're just se um, selecting the best part. So whatever is good, pleasing, you just take it. So I'm saying that in terms of hearing the word of God, we should not be selective of only the good ones, the ones that give us, make us feel good, that the ones that actually promises riches, and um, um, prosperity, we're not like that. Dapat daw, we will hear every single word that comes out from the word of God. Okay? So, um, going back dun sa, sina sa kwe, sa sinabi ko kanina, the man 
went away so sad because he was so rich. Tayo po ba? Are we also selective of what we want to hear from the Lord? Because he actually knew that he, he was keeping the commandments. Diba sabi niya? And, but then he, he, asked, he, 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 he did ask Jesus Christ, what are those commandments? So Jesus Christ said, yes, yes, yes. So parang sa kanya, wow, I'm doing this. I'm definitely going to heaven. And then Jesus got him for the last one. So tayo po ba? Are we okay to be hearing the not so good stuff? The not so good feedbacks. I remember before, I don't know why, here you don't do it. I think Dubai, Dubai family still does it. So what they do is they have stand up for Jesus. Stand up for Jesus, what we do is we actually testify about the Lord's blessings. And we also testify about the discipline. Yung mga pagpapalo at pagpapala ng ating Panginoon. Um, let me share with you. Eh, let me share with you a personal testimony about this pagpapalo. Okay? So para talaga siguradong no selective hearing for all us Christians. Bawal po mamili. I remember like um, when I already moved to Dubai, um, we were gonna ha- during the worship service, Nana Eni gave me the communion elements to pass on to people. And then while we were praying, while Papi was praying for, for the elements, and I, and I was standing there in front, he just took it from me. And then he said, I go, ouch. Ganun siya. And I knew, I knew why he actually took it. And in, at the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to attend the service anymore. I'm not going to talk to them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But then I decided to just stay. And then in the in the, the closing prayer, and then I just felt that I have to, you know, just let Papi tell me exactly what was wrong. And then after that, he said, come, anak. And he sat me down, and he asked me, do you know why I did that? And I said, yes. And then he, we spoke about it, and that was it. So at the, in the beginning, when he took that from me, I just felt so bad. I don't know, why did you have to do that? No. Part of, when, when we, when, who, who's happy when someone is rebuked? <laughs> Wala namang pagpapalo na hindi masakit, di ba? <laughs> Lahat ng discipline, masakit sa umpisa. But we have to remember the heart of the person who's doing it. Exactly with God. God gives us the not so good stuff because He wants us to be better. Because we're not perfect, right? Right? So we have to be ready to listen to that. And I assure you, it will hurt. It will not feel good. But always remember, it always comes from a positive motive. In the same way, in our spiritual family, among um, brethren, misan may maririnig ko, sabi nito, ganito daw ako, sinabihan ako ng leader ko, ganito daw ako. Dadaldal mo pa sa iba. No? <laughs> that my leader told me like this, or papi said like this, or mommy she, pinagalitan ako ganyan, ganyan. But always remember, they do not mean, we do not mean to hurt you. We always mean what's best. Please remember that. Okay, so if we find ourselves reading the Bible and thinking, well, this is not what God really means, or baka naman iba ang ibig sabihin niya, I think we have to check our hearts because we want Him to be aligned to what is pleasing to our ears. Amen? Gising pa po ba kayo? <laughs> okay, according to, um, sabi sa 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture not just the promising, the full, uh, full of promises, even the ones with the rebuke, right? With the discipline. It's inspired by God. So all scripture. So we should not be selective. Sabi ni A.W. Tozer, most Christians don't hear the God's voice because we've already made up our mind. I'm not going to do what it says. Yan. Tayo ba yon? Okay, number three. Ayan. Are we still here? Are we still engaged? Uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Para pupunta palagi ako dito, di ba? 
Okay, number three. So the story is about Martha and Mary. Ayan, I see all these stories that I'm giving you are stories that you're actually familiar with. So we should be ready. Dapat matuto talaga tayo on how to hear God. So the story is about when Jesus went to Martha and Mary's house. Okay, so Jesus came with the disciples. If it was just the 12 disciples, just imagine how many mouths to feed. Ang dami, di ba? Malaking handaan ito. So Martha decided to just, you know, start cooking and then get ready for to feed them. And then Mary just sat there in front, on, at Jesus' feet and listened to him. And then nagalit si Martha. Hindi siya tinutulungan ng kapatid niya. So he went to Jesus, pagalitan mo nga yan. Can you please tell her to help me? And then Jesus rebuked her. And he said, what he's doing is actually important. There is only one thing worth of, uh, being concerned about. Mga kapatid, what are you concerned about today? Are you concerned about hearing God's word for you? Or are you um, concerned about other things in your mind that's actually taking your attention or actually stopping you from hearing God's word today? Okay, let me share yung testimony. Sabi ko last year, I moved to Saudi. Yeah? So, it was June. Actually, one year na ngayon. So, it was June when I got this phone call from, from someone over there. And they said that they're looking for someone for that position. So, I was like, oh no, this is, the, this is it. Sabi ko ganyan. Because I've been praying to go to Saudi Arabia to work there. And sabi ko, yan na, yan na, yan na talaga, Lord. And then I had the interview, they gave the offer, the offer was really good. And I was like, yes. But then I had to pause. Maybe I'm just hearing what I want. Maybe I'm just hearing my own voice because my desire to go there was just so great. I've been praying for this for three years. This must be it. God finally answered my prayer after three years. Finally. But then I said, mm, I have to be sure. I don't want to be wrong. I'm moving to a different country. So I texted pa- Mami Shi. Sabi ko, Mami Shi, I've got this and that. Can you please help me pray to really hear God's direction for me? And praise the Lord because he did. He did the first time. Sabi ko, hmm, di pa ako sure. <laughs> Ang kulit. Um, because I remember preaching about Gideon. You remember Gideon? Yes, when he was asked diba, to fight the Midianites. So sabi niya, talaga ba, Lord, are you, am I going to do this? And then he tested, he gave a test, right? He put the fleece outside. And then um, when the fleece was wet, the ground was dry. And then sabi niya, hmm, di pa rin siya sure. <laughs> the following day, it was the other way around. So the fleece was dry or baliktad, basta dry and wet, wet and dry. So it happened like that. So I did exactly the same with God. So I said, I ha- it has to be very, very clear that you want me to go there. And he did, he did, he did. He gave me the words that I needed to just step in faith. And trust that whatever he wants me to do over there is for my best. Amen? And not what I think is best for me. Right? So kahit na gusto, gusto ko na siya. Sabi ko, Lord, I want your will. Just like when Jesus, Jesus Christ prayed, di ba, do sa garden, ta- takot na takot na siguro siya noon because of what, what he knows will happen to him. But then he still prayed, let your will be done, not my will. And I hope that we will also do that. It's not easy. What if God said, yeah, no? Then fine. I know that here is his best. Amen. Okay, um, gising pa ba kayo? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So sabi dito sa my Colossians 3, 1, 2, Since you have been raised to life, ayan, ayan. Ay, yun pala, hindi ko pa pala sinasabi yung ano, tune out the noise. <laughs> hindi ko pala sinasabi. We have to learn to tune out the noise. Even that noise is our own voice. Diba? Even our own voice or the voice of our family, the voice of other people. We have to be able to say, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to listen to me. I'm going to listen to him. Right? Okay, because they don't know what's the best for you. So, uh, of, of course, in their heart, they, they want the best for you. But only God knows what is exactly the best for us. 
Okay? And then number four. Number four is another story. Ayan. So remember during the transfiguration, when Jesus Christ went up the mountain with Peter, James, and John, right? And in the mountain, he glowed. Uh -huh. And then Moses appeared thou and Elijah, and the three disciples saw them. Yeah. And then after that, they went up the when went down the mountain, and there was like commotion down. Nagkakagulo po sila. Because there was this uh, father who asked the other disciples to heal his son who's demon possessed. He asked Jesus Christ to come and heal his son. And then what's very nice about this uh, uh, scripture is that he said in verse tw um Verse 21, uh, 22, the last part, he said, Have mercy on us and help us if you can. And Jesus said, What do you mean if I can? Jesus asked, If anyth anything is impossible, if a person believes. The father instantly cried out, I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. What a heart, right? He went there because he kind of know that Jesus Christ has healed so many people before. So he believed. But there is still a doubt because he has been seeing his son being tortured by the demon. Alam mo yung reality talaga. Every day, he can see how much his son was suffering. So, medyo may unbelief then, And we kind of relate to that, right? We say, yes, yes, Lord. Pero pag andyan ka na sa sitwasyon, para bang nasushaken ng konti yung faith. Right? Okay, but what, the, what that person said was very, very nice. He said, help me overcome my unbelief. I think sometimes when we come to God, we are full of ourselves. Gaya ko kanina, I told you, when I came to know that I was, gonna, I was given this topic, sabi ko, ay na naman. I already thought about this, thought about this topic several times. Ilang beses na talaga, di ba? Totoo naman ilang beses na talaga. Pero naisip ko, I'm being prideful. Right? I'm, to I'm not talking about my work. I'm talking about God's work. He knows His work more than me. Even, even mag-aral pa ako ng maraming maraming taon, He still knows His word better than me. Right? So I have to listen to him. So I, again, as I said earlier, I ask God for forgiveness. So sometimes we come to God full of ourselves, right? Unlike the man, he knows that, yes, I believe, but I still need something from you. You can still help me. So for us, whenever we, when we, we, we want to hear from the Lord, we have to come with an attitude of in need. Humility, not something like someone who's full of themselves. Imagine pouring water in a glass that's already full of water. What happens to the water? It spills, right? It's still the same, right? But what will happen if the glass is not filled? It's still empty. It still needs filling. When you pour water, then... It increases in the amount and the volume of water in it. So for us as Christians, when we want to come to Jesus and really get the most out of his message to us, we have to come, not someone like, I know this Lord, I've read the Bible for seven or eight or nine times. What is there to learn more? I know it. I think for, for some of us who's been, in, who's been Christians for so long and we've really read the Bible, we've been attending, we, I've heard this already before. Sometimes we're like that, right? And sorry, Lord, for being like that. So every single time, even if we know it, we have to come in humility to the Lord and ask Him. He knows we don't. Sabi pa, nga, sabi pa nga dito ng ano, sabi niya, if you can, Jesus can, right? When we tell him that, Lord, I am still prideful. Lord, I, 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 I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I don't want what I'm feeling to be affecting the way I'm hearing you. Dapat ganun po tayo, just like the man. He came, he didn't say na, Lord, alam ko na to, gawin mo nga to, ganyan, hindi he came. He begged Jesus Christ. Okay? 
So, for me po, I'm medyo ano ako, um, one thing I want to share with you about me is that uh, I'm very, yung gusto ko yung sa time, uh, strict ako sa time. And alam niyo ng mga live group members ko. Um, even I think in Dubai, they know that Satwa, Alwasel, they have to be on time because I make sure that they are on time. Okay, so in everything that I do, I like to do it, like plan it. Like this, this weekend, I was gonna do some personal work here. So I'm like, okay, I arrive in Dubai this time, then I have to go to get the car, and then I have to do this, 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 this. By the time, by this time, I should be done. Ganun ako ka-detailed. I like to do it that way. And same thing with my preaching. Sabi ko, okay, this day, I have to have, um, I have to have a title. I have to have points. I have to have like this. You know what happened? It never happened. <laughs> I know what I've I've kept as a plan never happened. Why? I always try to do it at work. I have to do this plan, 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 finish it on time. Not never be late. But with God's word, no. I always fail to you know reach my goals. And you know what God? What I actually got reminded of is that with God's word, in terms of hearing Him, He makes the call. Right? We cannot tell him, God, please speak to me now. I want to hear from you now. All right, God, I'm too busy now. Let's, let's talk tomorrow. It's not like that. We wait. We wait patiently. And what do we do while waiting? Just, tagal naman. <laughs> we wait. When we wait, while waiting, we have to prepare our hearts. Right? Sabi dun sa first point, actively listen. We have to prepare physically. Dun sa number two, we have to not cherry pick. We have to prepare mentally so that whatever God will tell us, we will accept it. Number three, emotionally. Tune out the destructions, your emotions, your desires. Tune it out. We have to prepare, we have to prepare ourselves emotionally. And lastly, we have to prepare ourselves spiritually. So whenever we hear, we, if we want to get the most out of hearing from God, we have to do all four. Sabi sa research, whenever, whenever we, someone talks to us, like me, I am preaching to you, it says that only 25% to 50% will be remembered. Imagine mo, tagal-tagal ko na nagsalit, nagkasalita. You will be, only 25% or 50% will be retained. But that's our like biological setup, right? But does that mean that we'll just be fine with it? Kasi yun na, we, were, we are wired to be like that. What if the most important message, part of the message, is the one that you actually did not hear? That's why that God is telling us that we have to do all these things. We should not be satisfied to be just part of the statistics. Hindi, ayoko ng 50%, Lord. Gusto ko 100%. Right? We, I want 100%. So we have to actively listen. No cherry picking. No selective hearing. Number three, we have to tune out the noise. And then number four, we have to come with an honest and good heart. I left UAE in September last year. And occasionally, people would message me and ask me how I am doing and how's life in the kingdom. Let me tell you truthfully today that life in the kingdom it's not what I expected it to be. I've been praying for it for three years. <laughs> but when I went there, when I actually lived in the country, then I was like, why? <laughs> Is it really like this? Okay, just to give you um, an idea of how, what life is there. Maybe Pascati can also explain it to you. So one thing, I like to go out here. 
Like, I want to go to the beach. Medyo mahilig kasi mag-swimming. I want to go cycling. Naglalakad ako. Tumatakbo ako. In Saudi, you cannot do that. I, I, I'm based in Riyadh. And Riyadh is in the middle of the desert. The beach is like three hours away. <laughs> yeah, it's three hours away. And then if I want to go walking, like say for example, it helps me after a day's hard work, I want to go out, you know, and just run or walk. I can't do that. One time I decided to, because no one actually goes, walks outside. Huh? Ganun? Opo. In the signals here, and actually I was telling Rose, ang daming tao dito sa Abu Dhabi. <laughs> ang daming tao sa labas. Hindi ako sanay. <laughs> Because there, when you're just walking outside, one time I decided to go to this clinic to have my PCR test done, and it's just like seven minutes away. So it was close by, I went in the morning, and well, during that seven minutes I was walking, I've not seen any person outside. No, no one. No one. And, now, and there was like big, big um, apartments or villas like that, and it's like, I mean, creepy, parang ikaw lang yung naglalakad sa labas. Yeah, so it's like that. So it's so different, and the weather is different. Here, it's humid, you sweat, but there is just so dry. And I have dry eyes, so it's really a challenge for me. So I have to put drops every now and then because ang tuyo tuyo. I mean, just so hot, but you don't sweat. Weird, but you will know if you go there. But so, so because of this difference in lifestyle, sometimes I would be bogged down by loneliness. Just imagine from work, stressful day in the office, you go back home, that's it. I do have life lesson meetings, but other than that, there's not really anything to do. Si Pascati only has one day off, and so is the rest of the, um, uh, the members over there. So I'm just the only one who has two days. So there will be times that I will just say, I just wanna go back to the Philippines. Maybe I have enough savings already, Maybe it's enough. And then God will remind me. God will remind me that he spoke to me. He spoke to me when I asked him to speak to me. He spoke to me clearly and several times. Uh, and those words never fails to encourage me. Every Every man. <laughs> and those words always never fail to so encourage me every single time. And that those words allow me to keep going every day and continue the work that he has started over there. That's why. It is very important for us to clearly hear from the Lord because that gives us the faith that we need when things don't go so well and allows us to trust that He has the best plan for us. Yeah. So now I'm just really thankful that, you know, the message was clear. And whenever Pascati and I would feel like, you know, we just want to give up, and we would just talk about those words. And I praise God that we receive this message because that is exactly what energizes us every day. It's easy to leave. But we have to listen to him, right? So, alam mo yun, yung nakakatuwa, mahirap, pero I, I'm just so happy that I heard him. It was a very clear direction. And sabi ko, hindi pwede doon naaalis ka rito without him telling. <laughs> it has to be clear as well. So, <coughs> Apostle said in uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 17, so faith comes from hearing, that is, hearing the good news about Jesus Christ. This means that how well we hear is directly proportional to the measure of faith. So whenever we find ourselves struggling with lack of faith or difficulty to trust the Lord, maybe it's time to heed, to take heed of how we hear. Pay attention. To how we hear or take care of how we're hearing God's word. 
and as followers of Jesus Christ, it is our fervent desire to someday to want to be at fertile soil, right? Ayaw naman natin maging ano, yung footpath. So gusto natin maging fertile soil. And to someday bear, bear fruit in abundance. However, before we bear fruit, we have to listen well. And what we've heard, we have to understand. Kahit na po hindi siya maganda sa pandinig. Okay? And, be, and then allow that to be put in action in our lives. So yung muscles, kailangan ginagalaw na. Di ba? Worked out the muscles. And then eventually, we will bear fruit. Today, God is challenging us to hear. Ha H, have your quiet time in a place with no or minimal distractions. Minsan kasi, kung saan-saan lang tayo nagbabasa <laughs> na ating um, Bible, di ba? Letter E, examine your current, our current state of mind or emotion first. And then start with a prayer. Okay? And then A, allow enough time for meditation after a scripture, uh, reading the scripture. Hindi yung next, next task. Then R, remember to thank God for his message and ask him to enable us to cling to it until such time that it produces fruit in our life. I hope that we are up to the challenge. Are we? Yes, praise the Lord. Because it is written in Luke chapter 8, verse 18. So pay attention how you hear. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. But for those who are not listening, even what they think they understand will be taken away from them. All glory to God. Amen. Are we all blessed? Palakpakan natin muli ang Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa napakabuting puso na pinagkaloob mo sa buhay ni Pastor Radona. She shared her life for us and she, she spent that time and moment to study the Word of God, realizing that it is going to be a blessing for each and every one of us. It is a blessing, right? Yeah. Amen! Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. So let's not waste the opportunity to take care of the Word of God. Let us hear it well. Let us have a good understanding of the Word of God. Let us apply it. And most importantly, it should bear fruit. And that fruit should be, kailangan masarap na prutas. Kailangan yung prutas na mapapakinabangan. Hindi lang siya basta prutas na naging bunga. But let it, let it be a productive fruit sa ating mga buhay. Amen? Um... As of now, we don't have VIP, but can we praise and thank God for each and everyone's lives that na are here today? Lord, maraming salamat po for giving us the opportunity to be here and to hear the word of yours. Thank you, Lord God, sa buhay ni Pastor Donna in sharing us the blessing of your words. Are we ready now for the communion? Thank you, Pastor. Amen. May I call everyone to stand up and then we will have our communion. Totoo yung sinabi ni Pastor Donna about the, uh, the parable of the, uh, the seed. No? Uh, it is always being discussed from the start of life lesson. And uh, we should always realize na hindi lang yun basta pinag-aaralan but it should be uh, our lifestyle. We all been with those type of path but we should be targeting the fertile soil of the heart of ours so that we may heed well the good word of the Lord Amen do we all have the communion elements
சொல்லிக்கணும் the bread for I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you on the night the Lord Jesus Christ betrayed took some bread broke it and gave it to his disciple and said this is my body eat it in remembrance of me let us all partake the bread in the same way He took the cup and says, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Drink this in remembrance of me. Let us all partake the cup. For whenever you drink this bread and partake this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Amen? Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Let's give the full energy para sa kadakilaan ng ating mahal na Panginoon. Amen. At ngayon nga po, I've heard that someone would like to glorify the name of the Lord. Pwede po muna kayong mga magsiupo. This portion, kakamenso lang ni Pastora Donna. Stand up for Jesus. It could be a discipline or a blessing for that person that he would like to, to stand to give honor and to praise God for what God have done to him. No? Sabi nga sa Romans 8.28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who has been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he, he also predestined to be conformed to be the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. together for our good we give thanks we give praise for by faith we know your grace will see us through for all those things that we don't understand we come And praise Him in your hands We give thanks We give praise For we know that all things work together For our good We give thanks We give praise by faith we know your grace will see us through for by faith we know your grace will see us through mind you guys sabi abc lang no and three minutes lang pero i won't stop this guy to give honor and glory to god because this is the great opportunity para maitaas ang pangalan ng ating panginoon Let's all give a round of applause. 
Juan Mig Francisco. Woo! Praise God. Thank you. Hello, guys. Uh, this one. Uh, uh. Hello, guys. My name is Juan Mig, and I'll be your MC for today. <laughs> I was born at a very young age, <laughs> and I was born at hospital. I'm joking. I'm joking. Serious. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, I just want to be really honest. Uh, my faith with God isn't really the straightest road. Like, uh, I'll be honest. I have been, there have been doubts sometimes, and uh, I've been struggling, uh, trying to rebuild my faith. And I am just really happy to uh, say that there are people who have helped me uh, build that faith. I would like to thank my parents for not forcing me to, for giving me a choice, because they are they aren't always like I've seen some Christian parents there. You know, I'm a pastor's kid, so the pressure in always being believing believing in God, it's very hard. Like, but I really thank my parents for not forcing me to be a Christian kid, like to be like really holy. They gave me a choice to join the ministry. They gave me a choice to uh, be in the dance ministry. And I took that opportunity. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, what else? Uh, yes, my uh, youth fam. I can't see it because there's a light there. But yes. Uh, so, uh, I would, I would like to thank them for... Uh, I'm not really a social person. Not gonna lie. So, uh, I have trouble speaking with people because uh, I do, when they don't have the same interests as me, or they don't, in, I they don't initiate the conversation. I, I literally don't talk to them at all. But they thought they're the all they're the ones that pull pull me in meetings and stuff, <laughs> like. Sometimes I don't really want to go. I want to go to s I want to go to bed. <laughs> like every Friday, it, I mean every su Saturday and Friday. I w it's a long week, school. It's, I'm tired. I have lots of problems, and I just want to you know lay down and rest. But they <laughs> they would always uh, encourage me to join them, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing. Like I I'm really happy that they uh, pull me in sometimes. Because I get to experience uh, their uh, the a relationship with them. Because if they haven't pulled me, like if they didn't care, then I would be like probably alone, and that's sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I would like to thank them for uh, being a family to me, even though I'm not that close with them. Uh, I would, and like, I'm not the best friend. <laughs> I, I still think that you invite me every sa Saturday. I'm so confused. Friday, Saturday, Saturday. There, Sat I, to invite me every Saturday afternoon. And I'm okay, I'm yak. Yak, Okay, joke. And I already thank uh, Salma Uno, the music team, yesterday. Do I need to do it? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I thank them for giving me, uh, guiding me to my talent, which is playing the keyboard. And at first, uh, I wasn't good. I was only playing it to impress people, like I said yesterday. Um, I thank them for giving me inspiration, which is God. And just clap. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what else? What else? What else? And yeah. Whoa, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> the camera. Good, but I don't look good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, yes. Thank you, all guys. Uh, I've been here since the beginning. Uh, since I was five years old. It's five years old, but I'm about. Yeah, four. Four. Yeah, four. Uh, I don't have consciousness back then, so I don't know. I was a dumb kid. <laughs> I was very malicot. 
and I would like lie down on the floor screaming <laughs> and yes uh, so you've seen every side of me seen how I grow and uh, even though I was so young and I don't remember most of you I'm pretty sure you're, you'd remember most of me so uh, just know that I'm available uh, in the Philippines. Hopefully, there's a wife. I'm a messenger. Naman. So, like, if you want to uh, catch up with what I do, just messenger. Uh, my Instagram. Din ako, uh, 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 I, you my YouTube channel. Po din ako, pero like, it's dead. <laughs> Wala <laughs> po pa post na na tsaka yun lang. Seriously. Wala pong TikTok. Iyo. Uh, just. <laughs> si Tito Norman po siguro meron. <laughs> okay. Okay. Once again, I love you guys. Thank you. Yeah, amen. Do you want me? Can we pray for you? You know, I, I feel blessed of what he has said now. Uh, before, like, he's just playing the, the, the keyboard and like that. No? Without... It is in, in, in his heart. No? Like the story kanina what uh, Pastor Adona. No? Yung father who have asked na, Lord, help me to remove my unbelief. Uh, we never also approach God. No? What we carrying, what we are carrying, sometimes we thought that is more than enough to please God. But remember, no? uh, it should be the humility from our heart to accept that we are no one, but only by His grace, how He wants to manifest his spirit unto us to express and to do the glory for his name. No? Okay, I, I feel blessed. So we should always have that humility in our heart that what we are doing here in the platform is to magnify the name of Jesus instead of expressing of whatever talents or whatever things that we could do is not about for the congregation, but it always has to be for the glory in the name of the Lord. Na? Amen. Lord, we praise and thank you, Lord God, for the life of Kuya Wan Mig and for the rest of the family of Pastor Benjo. We would like to thank you, Lord God, for molding his life, for giving him the great opportunity, Lord God, to know you well. And we believe, O Lord God, that his new path, O Lord God, will be well guided by yours, Panginoon. And also by those people who will be surrounding him, Panginoon. And we believe, O Lord God, that you have placed a perfect area in his life, Lord God, kung saan, Lord God, he will grow more in knowing you, believing on you, and having more experiencing of your presence, Panginoon. Lord, as you bless his hand, as you bless his life, Panginoon, may he be as an a spontaneous person, O oh Lord God, sa ibang tao na they would feel, O oh Lord God, how your presence in his, is in his life, Panginoon. Lord, the way as he's going to study his college days in the Philippines, Panginoon, may he represent your name very well in his school and in, in his house, Panginoon. Muli po, Lord God, we are so blessed for the life of Kuya Wan Mig and uh, the way he's going to be uh, Engineer ba, Kuya? What's that? IT? I, as an IT person, Panginoon, uh, may He success well. And uh, may He also show Lord God sa Kanyang uh, personality, Panginoon, kung paano siya na-mold, Panginoon. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for the life of Kuya Wan Mig. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Kuya Wan Mig. God bless you. One more. Oh. So, nakalimutan ko. Uh, I want to take the special mention. Wala pa sila dito. Si Tita Jean and Tito Balong. Uh, I, I would like to mention them. Uh, I want to special mention them. It's because uh, Tita Jean has uh, helped me a lot uh, in when I'm dealing with problems. She's like my spiritual mom. And... When I'm like having troubles uh, in any pro any any topic, either it be uh, about relationships or And uh, uh, what, what relationship? Relationship, friends, yeah, uh, uh, friends, luck. I'm You're turning 18. Yes. Not good. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. yeah, my faith. Yeah, she's uh, one message away. So I would like to thank her for being available. And 
I would like to congratulate Tito Balong on his baby. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Sorry. The inside, it's a joke. Joke, lah. Di ba? It's an inside joke. Inside joke, lah. It's a, it's a joke. No, no, but but it it, it should be like that's a great lesson. Joke, yeah. Congrats. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. What a good spoiler. Okay. <laughs> hey, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I invite everyone to stand up? Amen. Yes, oh Lord. Maraming salamat po, Lord God, for this service. Sa inyong pinagkaloob sa bawat isa sa amin. Muli po palakpakan natin ang Panginoon na buhay. Yes, Lord God. <laughs> Amen. May we all lift up our hand. Lord, As we all lift up our hands, this is a sign of surrender, Panginoon. A sign of a humble heart, Panginoon, that we, apart from you, Lord God, we are nobody, we cannot do anything. We cannot move, Panginoon, and we cannot think properly, O Lord God. Help us, O Lord God, to heed your word. Help us, O Lord God, to have a good understanding, Panginoon. Lord, help us to exercise, Lord God, our being, Lord God, in giving honor and glory to you, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, that these hands, Lord God, to be productive as you have designed us to be, Lord God, in our work, in our house, in our relationship, in everywhere we are, O Lord God. In every place, place we represent ourselves, Panginoon, may it reflect, Panginoon, the glory of your name, Panginoon. Muli po, O Lord God, sa aming paglabas, may we be a blessing to those whom need the presence of yours, Panginoon. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Yeah. So mga kapatid, ready na ba kayo? Amen. Behind Setting our hearts on a price Laying down every seed That would seek to hinder us We're running the race to win All the way to the end Laying down every seed That would seek to hinder us And we'll be faithful To our calling, for you are able to keep us from falling. For in your promise, we will trust. We'll be faithful to finish. Tell what to be done. On the rise, always keeping our eyes on our Lord Jesus. We're running the race to win, all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Lay down every seed, lay down every seed that will seek to hinder us, and we'll be faithful to our calling. For you are able to keep us from falling For in your promise we will trust We'll be faithful to finish the work you begun We'll be faithful to finish We are all for you. We
We are all for Christ! Mahal na mahal kita, Panginoon Oh, mahal na mahal Mahal na mahal kita, Panginoon Kailan may hindi tayo Pagkat sa piling mo'y lagi Mahal na mahal kita, Panginoon Habang buhay, pagpupurihan ka Habang buhay, paglilingkod sa'yo Masaya, 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 masaya